Hello there, I'm Ashley Ford McAllister, author of the Raglan Street series of crime fiction novels. And while the rest of the writing world is going to be busy doing NaNoWriMo, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. So over here on YouTube, I'll be reading a page a day from across the Raglan Street series of novels. We've got books one to four currently available on Amazon. That's Raglan Streets, which is book one, Noah's Beasts, which is book two, Woman's Will, which is book three, and Inconvenient Crossfires, which is book four. And I'll also try and make a slightly, hopefully humorous comment on what I've just read. Today I'll be reading from book one, Raglan Streets. Hey, Big Far. Tony lifted his head and smiled. He was three, he, it was three weeks on from the shooting, and he was still in hospital. They reckoned it would be another three weeks at least before he could go home. He looked pale and thin. I never thought that word could ever apply to Tony Raglan, but it did now. He couldn't have lost that much weight, not in such a short time. It was his energy that, that had diminished. He looked tired. I felt suddenly afraid, in a way I hadn't felt since I'd first seen him go down, first seen his blood pooling on the floor of the heart of darkness that night, what seemed like a lifetime ago. I'd been to the hospital every day, days without news, days of silence, of watching and waiting, days of fevered prayers, days I danced very, very close to making a sacrifice. I'd made a sacrifice. An offering by my ways, only once before, when I first responded to the Aesir. I'd been tempted on two other occasions, both by material desire. I'd actually been sitting with the blade held to my wrist when the phone had rung. My gods had answered in advance of my having to ask. They'd responded, in silence, to my own silent screams. And, for the past ten days, the silence had been absent. Tony was coming back to me, a little at a time. Hey, how's Idaho? I smiled. Stephen Lassiter had been sentenced to five years in prison for being involved in the supply of Class A drugs. He hadn't asked for a solicitor, but he had asked that someone went to his flat and took on his parrot, Idaho. Tony, please see Raglan. I'd like him to have him. He usually takes him in when I'm away, but I don't, I'd offered. I don't know much about parrots, but PC Raglan is a very good friend of mine. I'm sure he'll help me out. I know I'll tell you most of what he wants. I'm going to miss him. Parrots have a long time, don't they? I'd ask. And what I love about, about this, it's obviously, um, presented from Brock Hansen's point of view and I love the fact that there y y you've got the sort of build up there of oh god the, the, this this guy that I I'm coming to care about he, he's in hospital and he, he might die and then it's suddenly oh hey you know who cares if he dies as long as we look after the parrot properly kind of thing and you know I, I, I like to imagine an alternative universe of Raglan Street, where Tony Raglan actually does die, and then I don't have to write the rest of the series and bore you guys with it. Um, but Feral Canton has this parrot, and he goes slightly crazy because he's never got to tell Tony how much he cares about him, and you know, all of this stuff, and Tony's just dead, and it's all just happened really suddenly. And so Ferrock goes a bit mad, and he starts putting all of the he, all, of, all, all, all all of the feelings he has for Tony onto this parrot. And he starts actually believing that this parrot is Tony, Tony Raglan, and you know you get you get the impression that Ferrock is the kind of person who would be deeply, sincerely, and quietly insane, and you're just insisting to everybody else, no, 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 the, the, this parrot absolutely is Tony Raglan. And, you know, the poor parrot's just kind of sitting there like, 
I don't know what this guy's on. I just want to have some seed, maybe a bit of fruit. Um, just, you know, get it out of my out of my cage. Have have, have a bit of a fly around, because it, it you know it just does strike me that you've gone from this kind of really intense. Yo, oh gosh, you know, I, I, I might have to, you know, injure myself in some way as a kind of bribe to, to see if, you know, the powers that be will allow this man I care about to, to, to survive, to, oh gosh, I'm not really sure how to look after a parrot. Um, I, 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 I love that sort of ability to compartmentalise that us guys tend to have in spades the kind of, oh well, you know, someone died but now I've got a parrot that needs taken care of. So, um, that was a page read from book one of the Raglan Street series, Raglan Streets. Um, tune in tomorrow for a, another page from probably another book in the series. That's all for now.